Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create and uh, configure a, a storage account in Azure. So all you need to do, go to the storage account first and, uh, and just click add. So storage account is the backbone for everything uh, within, uh, within Azure uh, or any cloud provider. So here I'm going to use my existing resource group. If you don't have a resource group, just create a new resource group. Uh, make sure your all resources that will be connecting to the storage account are connected to uh, are part of the same resource group. So here I'm going to name this storage account. So I'm going to name this demo storage account 001 and no capital letters are allowed so here I'm gonna just use small letters uh, region I'm gonna select Canada Central and uh, uh, standard it will be uh, I'm gonna choose standard storage uh, standard for performance tier account kind will be storage v2 most of the time we select v2 uh, storage uh, uh, general purpose storage these are both uh, for backward compatibility uh, but now since this this can support all types of storage needs so we select v2 storage and for application i'm going to go with the the, the uh, local locally redundant storage i'm not going to go with zone and geo at the moment and uh, access tier will be hot tier and cool tier can be hot tier is for the uh, the uh, most frequently used data and cool tier is for uh, infrequently accessed data so for now i'm going to go with hot tier Within networking, this is uh, this is basically this basically uh, configures if uh, we want to restrict the storage account for certain part of the network. At the moment, I'm going to keep it open. And uh, next, within data protection, it I can turn on soft delete here and some other options, but I can do that later on once we are configuring storage account. So. In the advance, uh, we're going to leave everything as is because we don't need uh, at the moment large file shares or data lake storage configuration. Within the tag, uh, I'll just say that this is part of department IT. So this is a tag I'm going to use and create. So it will validate all of the configuration, the configurations that we have uh, and, and validation succeeded. I can create the storage account now. It takes about a few moments. Uh, Sometimes the validation can fail because of maybe uh, maybe some uh, uh, misconfiguration. For example, if we are not using a small letters for the name, uh, name, then it will won't succeed. And and few other configurations so uh, if it if it fails just go back to configuration just go back and see that what is uh, wrong and then you can just uh, correct this and then re uh, run the validation so it will take few moments uh, once that storage account is created uh, then i will continue so storage account is created now and uh, i can go to the resource storage account and this, these are the properties that we, uh, once the storage account is created here, we can validate that it is part of the IT department resource group. It is uh, a standard type of account, hot tier. Uh, we selected hot tier and then it is LRS for application account type is storage uh, v2. Within the storage account, we can configure containers, file share and tables and queues. And I will configure them in the second video. Thank you for watching this video.